So how can you actually stick to your New Year's resolutions this year? Well, in this video, I'm going over three awesome tips to help you do so. So at the end of the year, you're not upset and you're actually feeling a little bit better about yourself. So let's hit that intro. Woo! Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Noah. If it's your first time here, I make videos on health, fitness, and tech to improve your life, no matter how busy of a person that you are. So, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. If I'm gonna be honest, you most likely won't be sticking to your New Year's resolution this year. What? Harsh, I know. Did you know that 25% of the people who set New Year's resolutions fail by the second or third week of January? And that number actually goes to 85% by the end of February. So how can you beat the statistic and actually stick to your resolutions this year? Well, the first thing I would say is have a very specific and time-bound goal. No, I just wanna be fit. I wanna see lines. I wanna lose weight. I wanna be healthier. No, I want you to get super, 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 specific on this one. Imagine like a dartboard. Let's say that you and a couple friends go to a local bar and you guys are playing darts. And if you don't have any markings on that dartboard, what's gonna happen? You're gonna be throwing it, and you're gonna be hitting everything but the dartboard. You'd be knocking over drinks, people. If you think about it, it's the same thing with your health and fitness. If you don't really have a direction of where you are targeting, you're basically just gonna be going like this. Everything that you're doing, any workout you do, any food, like it's just not gonna matter. You're not gonna be making any progress. So how many pounds exactly do you wanna lose? And when do you want it to happen by? Do you wanna lose eight pounds in one month or maybe 25 pounds in three? Now you wanna be realistic. You're not gonna lose 50 pounds in two days. Like that's dangerous, like you might die. But when you have a specific goal, it makes it just so much easier to make progress. And at the end of the day, you gotta be going in the right direction. The second thing you can do to stick to your New Year's resolution is actually having a clear plan of action. Now, I was on a cruise this past New Year's and it was awesome, it was a seven day cruise and when we got into the cabin, they basically laid it out in a brochure of the seven days, what islands we would be going to, the times we need to be on and off the ship, the excursions, the food options, and I was like, okay, cool. Like, I'm actually comfortable knowing that I'll have a good time on this trip because of the fact that everything was just laid out. There was no question of what I had to do. Everything was just there. And it's the same thing with your New Year's resolution. You can't just go into a gym and say, well, I'll do a few arm workouts here, I'll do some abs, and I'll finish with 15 minutes of cardio. That's not gonna work. You need to have some sort of plan in place. Even if it's something from BuzzFeed, bodybuilding.com, maybe it's something that your younger brother was doing. I mean, just find some sort of structure. It's just super important because it makes it easier when you could just follow something step by step by step rather than guessing. So like maybe it's like you need to do this workout on this day. Maybe it's working out legs on Monday, upper body on Tuesday, making sure that you have a healthy snack. Have something like concrete so that when you look at it, there's no question. And that's also really good if you're a busy person because now you're like, I know exactly what I need to do, when I can schedule it out, there's no question, boom, 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 bada boom, I'm done. So when you have a clear plan of action, there's less confusion, you feel more confident because you're like, I know what I'm doing and you can actually make progress. So the third and final way to stick into your New Year's resolution is to find accountability. You know, as a kid, I was a big fan of video games, but my mom was a little bit strict and I couldn't play them until Fridays and the weekends. But even then, I couldn't play any games until I finished my chores throughout the week. So, you know, I was doing those chores. I was sweeping, I was dusting, I was doing all of that because I had to play my WrestleMania. I want to be playing that Spyro in Battlefront my mom kept me accountable to do my chores by withholding those video games. So who is it for you that's gonna hold you accountable? I honestly think there's only really three people that you could choose between. The first would be telling a family member or a friend, somebody who's really close to you that you could really open up with. And the reason being is when you do that, one, you're gonna have somebody that you can confide in, but two, you're not gonna want to let that person down. You know, like it's your close friend or family member. You don't wanna lie to them. The second, which I think is probably, in my opinion, the most effective is getting a coach. And the reason being is because one, you have money dedicated to that person. So you're not gonna just waste money by not doing anything. And then also, you gotta remember that they're probably not gonna be as lenient on you as your family member or friend. Because at the end of the day, like they're like, hey, I'm training you and you're not gonna slip up on my watch. And the third, and this one is definitely out there, is putting it out in public on social media. Oh yeah, real commitment. You definitely don't wanna mess up there because of the fact that if you do, somebody will call you out and that would be really embarrassing. So find somebody that can hold you accountable because let's be honest, if it was up to you, you would probably be like, oh, what's a missed workout? 
You know, who cares if I eat some pizza and beer after a long day at work? Find somebody that can basically be there to lift you up when you fall back and can also keep you on track and motivate you to get you to where you want to be. So those were my three biggest tips to sticking to your New Year's resolution this year. One, setting a specific goal. Two, having a structured plan of action. And then three, finding some accountability. And if you do that, I promise you, you will be sticking to your New Year's resolution this year. So what is your biggest New Year's resolution this year? Mine is to put out a hundred videos on YouTube, specifically this channel. See what I did there? A specific goal, a hundred videos, by when, the end of the year, and I got some accountability by telling you guys 100 videos this year. Go ahead and put in the comments below what your biggest New Year's resolution is this year. I'm super interested to hear them out, and I hope this video was helpful. I'll catch y'all next time. You already know, embrace the hype. Woo! Before you head out, if you want more health tips to keep you lean and give you more energy throughout the day, go ahead and tap here. Or if you just wanna see the latest popular video on this channel, tap here, all right? Catch y'all later. <laughs>